Sa video natin ngayon, we'll try to deal with the hydraulics problem. Now, we have the up pipe carrying water. And yung diameter down niya changes gradually from 150mm at A to 450mm at B. And so that means na increasing yung diameter natin. And then yung A daw is 5 meters lower than B. Now, yung question is, what will be the difference in pressure in KPA between A and B. And then yung discharge daw natin is 180 liter per second. And then we will neglect the loss of energy. So first, let's try to draw our figure. Now point A is lower than B. So andito yan. And then yung diameter at A is 150 mm. And so let's say ito yan. And then let's say yung point B nandito. And then yung difference sa height is 5 meters. Now dito daw sa B, yung diameter is 450 mm. And so lalaki to. Yan. And then let's try to draw a connecting line. Yan. This is our diameter at A. And then ito naman sa B. Now diba, meron tayong Bernoulli's energy theorem. And then yung formula nyan is the velocity head which is V over 2G. Now let's just label this as VA and then squared plus P1 divided by gamma W plus Z1 or the elevation from the datum or reference line is equal to VB squared over 2G which is the velocity head plus P2 divided by gamma W plus Z2. And then here, we'll actually also add the head loss. However, indicated dito sa problem, now we will neglect the loss of energy. And so this will be zero. Now first, iso solve muna natin yung VA. Now diba, this is 150 mm. And then ito naman, this is 450 mm. Now diba, yung formula natin for discharge is Q is equal to AV. Where Q is the discharge, and then yung A is yung cross-sectional area, and then yung V is the velocity. Now we are given Q, so this is 180 liter per second. However, diba, we know that 1000 liters is equal to 1 m cubed. And so let's just convert this. Para yung velocity natin will be meter per second. And so ito, magka-cancel to. And so yung Q natin will be 0 0.18. So this is 0 0.18 m cubed per second. Now first, solve muna natin yung VA. Now diba, for VA, we have 0 0.18 m cubed per second is equal to the area which is pi over 4 times d squared and then our d will be 150 mm. However, we will also convert that to meters. So that will be divide natin by 1000 magiging 0.15 and then squared. Ito yung area which is ito. And then multiplied by the velocity at A. And so masasolve na natin to. 0 0.18 divided by pi over 4 times 0.15 squared magiging 10.186 and so our VA is 10.186 meter per second. Now kung gusto mo yung unit cancellation, di ba, meron tayong m squared dito. And so m na lang yung matitira dito. And then we are left with meter per second. Kaya yan yung unit ng VA. Now for VB naman, we will still use the same equation. However, magbabago yung diameter natin. Kasi at point B, it will be 450 mm. So this is 0 0.45. And then ito naman, this will be VB. And so divide natin by 0.45 Ito na yung velocity natin, 1.13 meter per second. Now diba, this makes sense naman. Kasi kung lalaki yung diameter natin, hihina yung velocity or yung travel ng water. And then, the smaller the diameter, mas bibilis yung flow. Now since meron na tayo nito, ipoplug na natin yan dito. And then, our Z1 is actually at point A, that will be zero. Kasi ito yung reference line natin. Hindi kasi sinabi sa problem na meron tayong datum below point A. And so let's just assume na ito yung datum. Now since yung height nito from the datum is 0, this will be 0. And then for point B naman, yung height from the datum is 5 meters. And so this will be 5. Now let's plug in our values. Yung VA natin, 10.186. And then squared divided by 2G. Yung G natin is 9.81. And then we have plus P1 divided by gamma W. Now diba, water yung kinikerry. And so yung gamma ng fluid natin will be 9.81. And then plus 0, which is essentially negligible, equals 1.13 squared divided by 2 times 9.81. And then plus Z2, which is 5. And then since wala tayong head loss, wala na tayong ia-add. And then by the way, meron pa pala tayong P2 divided by 9.81. Yan. Now, yung question is, yung difference ng pressure in KPA between A and B. And so, let's define this. Yung difference in pressure between A and B is PA minus PB. And so, we'll just label this as PA. And then, ito naman, this is PB. Yan. And so, move natin to, to the right. 
that will be PA over 9.81 is equal to 1.13 squared divided by 2 times 9.81 minus 10.186 squared divided by 2 times 9.81 and then meron tayong plus 5 and then itong PB let's just move that to the left and so change yung sign that will become minus PB over 9.81 now diba I can just multiply this expression by 9.81 para magka-cancel yung denominator. So mawawala na to and also ito. And then since we multiply this by 9.81, we'll also multiply this by 9.81. And so makukuha na natin yung PA minus PB. And so that will be 9.81 times 1.13 squared divided by 2 times 9.81 minus 10.186 and then squared divided by 2 times 9.81 and then plus 5 and so this will be minus 2.188 or approximately negative 2.2 and the new unit is KPA and so ito na yung sagot natin now yung sagot natin kanina na minus 2.2 yan yung answer key sa isang CEREF however I believe na yung hinahanap talaga is PB minus PA or simply delta P or the change in pressure in which case our result will be positive now just try to clarify this question with your review instructor kasi baka kasi sa board exam yung lumabas sa choices is negative meron kasing marami mga erroneous na items and so that's why you have to clear that up yan lang mga lodi pwedeng minus 2.2 kung PA minus PB and then pwedeng 2.2 KPA positive kung PB minus PA depende na yan kung ano yung nasa choices Thank you.